Hey, welcome back to What Jack Has Made. In this video, we're gonna be going over how you can use the GraphQL schema that we built in the previous video to query within pages and return information that we can render directly to the page. So in this example, we're going to be using the information we get from our WordPress API, and we're gonna query the information that we find from the About page that we examined in the WordPress series. So I'm gonna go ahead and close a lot of these files and we're gonna open up page two and we're just gonna rename this to about, it might cause a couple of issues, um, which might require us to restart our, <coughs> our console. So if I restart this and change the references in the other pages, Cool. So while that's kicking back up, we're gonna go and have a look at documentation for how we would create a um, how we would create a query within uh, Gatsby. So Gatsby provides uh, a couple of different ways of querying within um, pages. We don't want the source plugin. We want the concepts. So there's this concept of static querying and then page querying. <clears throat> When you do a page query, you can pass in parameters, um, such as if you've got a category page, you can pass in a parameter of the slug and then query the posts which match that slug and then use the data returned from that GraphQL query in the page. Um, but at the moment, the, 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 other bit, the other way of doing it is doing a standard um, static query, which doesn't accept parameters. Um, there is a lot of work being done on how to best implement the idea of doing parameters so that you could do like an input search um, using a form. But at the moment, as it stands, there isn't an easy solution. A lot of people have their fingers crossed that something new will come out soon, and so do I. But for now, we're just gonna look at how we do a basic query within a page. So here's a good example of how to build a query in the home page. We're going to apply it to the about page. So we'll go to the about. And the first thing we'll need to do is use the GraphQL package from Gatsby. This will allow us to query GraphQL within our page template. Um, we'll also be destructuring the data prop that gets returned to our about page template and we can remove the rest of the information for now. And we'll keep this, but we'll change out the query. So if I go into our schema, if I can find it, and we can go ahead, let's just grab this query for now, and we'll throw it in. So now what's happening is we've got this query, which gets run before the page is rendered. And what Gatsby will do is it will go through this query, find the WordPress posts and return to us the JSON payload that we saw in Graphical. And then it'll make it available to us as a prop under data um, when we're rendering out the page. And then when it returns the page, we can do whatever we want with this data. So for now, we're just gonna console log this data payload and see what we get back. So if I open up, localhost and go to about, oops, about. Well, as you can see, when we hit a 404 page in Gatsby, it shows us the available pages. If we go to about and inspect our page, you'll see we have this object that we're console logging. And if we open up that, we have WordPress posts and then an array of nodes with all the information we want so what we can do in our page is we could go ahead and say, underneath this, we'll do data.wordpress.posts.nodes.map post. And then for each post, we want to return a paragraph tag with the post.slug. So if you've done any sort of React templating before, this would be quite familiar to you. Uh, essentially what we're doing is we're saying in the array, we're gonna go over each item and return an object. And within that object, we're accessing the key slug and its value and rendering it in a paragraph. So what this should do is it should render all of, this, all of these 
100 posts and give us slug back. We could render back the title or date, but for now we're just gonna do the slug. And as you can see, we've now got 100 post slugs being rendered to the page. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. But one thing you'll notice is that we've had to manually go in and create an about page and then manually, manually go in and query the posts and then return the information and then template it. And this could be quite tedious if you have say 50 pages or if um, a client wanted to add a new page to their Gatsby site. And it isn't really ideal for creating a large amount of pages. It's fine if you're creating a bespoke site for yourself or a portfolio site. But if you wanna have a bit more control and less manual work in the future, you'll wanna create these pages programmatically, which is what we're gonna be covering in the next video.